like this, the atmosphere gets to you, whoever you are. Whether you're Joe Corrigan playing in your 22nd derby, a million-pound player like Gary Bertels, a 19-year-old making a derby debut like Steve McKenzie, or a man who has known derby games in Glasgow as well as Manchester, as Lou Macari has. On a day like this, no one is immune from nerves. City, though, have the advantage of virtually a full squad to choose from. The only casualty for them is Phil Boyer. And the only overnight dilemma for manager John Bond was the right back spot. And that stays with Tony Henry. So City are, in fact, unchanged. United, though, continue to be dogged by misfortune. They're again without their two Scottish internationals, Gordon McQueen and Joe Jordan. That means that Lou Macari, who had a day in bed this week with a heavy cold, will operate up front with Gary Bertels. And, of course, a day on which Dave Sexton, after such a disappointing season, has a great deal of pressure on his shoulders. And as Manchester United prepare to start this 102nd league derby, they have an advantage of nine victories, 38 to 29, and they begin this one attacking the goal to our right. Red shirts, white shorts, Manchester City, all likely. Bennett is offside. First decision of the game for Mr Mills. Quite straightforward, linesman's flag up quickly, Dave Bennett caught. Very cold afternoon, but the pitch in nice condition. Gary Bennett. coming in behind Bertels jump and trying to play it on for Bertels Booth turn put it out for the throw they were called back for a sitting free kick Wilkins awful lot of passes being intercepted Curry, and a good break here by Duxbury, on his left foot. A whisker away for the youngster. Made his debut in the Derby game at Old Trafford earlier. Almost made a name for himself in the early stages of this one, with a left foot shot that just whizzed past Corrigan's far post. Mike Duxbury, and now Corrigan with the goal kick. at the Gau, Bennett, and his heels tapped by Alberston. Hutchison will take the free kick, Booth is up on the edge of the penalty area, and over comes the free kick, and it's looking for Booth, but Bertels heads it out for a corner. Corner to be taken by Parr. City clustering on the near post. Making no secret that that's their tactic at corners. And it almost worked for them too. It could yet. McDonald really should have blasted it when he thought he had enough time just to try and lift it over. And in the end, it was neither one thing nor the other. Corner plate to the near post there. Didn't really touch anybody. But then when it was only half cleared, McDonald had time, tried to side foot it, didn't get enough elevation. Wilkins, Bertels, a foot too high there by uh, Tommy Booth. And Ray Wilkins will take the free kick. Very short to Bertels, back again. McDonald, Reeves. Buchan tangling for the ball, winning it cleanly. One back by McKenzie for Hutchison. And 
and Hutchison a nice pass for Reeves real chance here ball wouldn't settle can he make it yet and it was blocked and it's a corner but there was a gorgeous ball played through there by Tommy Hutchison and it then just would not settle for Reeves best through ball of the game so far and then it won't settle anywhere where he wants it so he tries to come right and then he can't find the angle for the shot before it's turned out for a corner but Hutchison has looked uh, for one player who has the confidence to put his foot on the ball now then Reeves couldn't do anything but it's still a scramble in there referee has given a free kick for holding down Dave Sexton, no doubt, as disappointed as everybody else that uh, neither side has really got to grips with the game. McElroy into space for Wilkins. That was nicely played, and Bertels is on the left. And a chance here to make a break. Corrigan has come, and what a very good bit of goalkeeping that was. Bennett. to Bailey but it was the goalkeeper at the other end who did so well there Bertels was put through to chase a ball from Wilkins and it was falling very awkwardly Corrigan had to come out of the area and that meant he had to use his feet and it was a very good tackle Hutchison for Mackenzie and Hutchison goes on in the middle to join Bennett, Reeves and Parr fell behind the wall and then off Koppel the most extraordinary ball from Koppel and he will have been the most relieved man at Main Road to see that skid all the way through to Gary Bailey I can't think it was really what he intended Reed gives it away, Koppel, Bertels, touch from Wilkins but Koppel was closed down, Reed made uh, life very difficult for him, Booth, Koppel nips in, Nickel tries to cross but Parr intercepts, Bertels, Wilkins, Nicole Wilkins good intention here down goes Nicol but not a foul I think it was as much a slip as anything John Bond as impassive as his opposite number Warren Koppel Booth Donald, United throw in. Wilkins pulls it across. Header out by Gao, Nickel. Warren, but he hits his own man, Nickel. And that was a trip by Wilkins on par. That brings the game's first booking. Ray Wilkins apologizes name to Mr. Mills accepting that the referee had no option but to caution him for that although one would say it was a matter of mistiming rather than malice here's the foul it came as City were threatening on the break oh that's a booking all right McDonald forward it's a good jump by Duxbury Wilkins, a bad pass, giving it to Hutchison. Setting up a Manchester City attack. A shot from Hutchison on the half body, picked up by Bailey. Hutchison opting for the shot, and those low down that bounce in front of the goalkeeper are not always easy, but Bailey had got behind it, which is the important thing. Forty-five minutes gone, no goals. The nearest we've come... Kevin Reeves, a chance for Manchester City that wouldn't settle for him. 
Mike Duxbury a chance for Manchester United that he pulled just wide of the post. Well, whatever thoughts Dave Sexton and his opposite number, John Bond, may have had about the first half, they are keeping to themselves. But I guess they'll have done some very hard talking during the break. Manchester City start us off again, and there is at least one worthwhile omen in the record books that's perhaps worth quoting, and that is that we haven't had a goalless draw in a Manchester derby since 1974. So we've got 45 minutes for them to find a goal or two here. McDonald. Wilkins, and then Gao goes over, and that's the first free kick of the second half. It's one of those classic games when the fear of losing gets the upper hand over the desire to win. Hutchison. Henry. Again, and that's a good early cross. Bennett, well saved by Bailey. That's the best moment of the game so far. Nice cross, good effort by Bennett, but saved by Bailey. Henry popping up here in an attacking position and showing how to cross. Bennett was free. Bailey made an excellent save. Bertels, Nickel. Dennis Stewart warming up the Manchester City substitute. Nicole heading down. Power. Reeves. Kenzie to cross, studs from Nicholl and a clearance from Moore. McDonald, Parr. Parr finds Gao, McKenzie. And McKenzie to Bennett. This looks a bit more promising from City. Bennett slipping it on. Parr pulls back. McKenzie! It was a move that probably would have deserved a goal in any game. And as moves go in this game, it was a real gem. Patient build-up by City. At last they were finding their men, and at last it paid off. Getting towards the end of it now, as Mackenzie plays it out to Bennett. Bennett turns outside on the par. Par's pull back, and in goes Mackenzie. So it's 1-0 to Manchester City in the 14th minute of the second half. McElroy for United. Makari, McElroy, couple here. Header away by Boo. This is a different game now. Par. Warren. Couple. Bertels, still Bertels, well saved by Corrigan on the edge of his six-yard area. Bertels, who shot it was, Corrigan, who saved it was. All city banners flying. Hutchison penalised for the way he moved McElroy off him with his hip. Bertels, quick, but it didn't work. It uh, hit Booth. It wasn't handball, as one or two United players were claiming. And then a foul by Augustin on Hutchison. Bertels, 
Henry chasing back to get goal side of him and gets in a tackle, but Bertels retains the ball. McElroy looking for a shooting angle. Wilkins was blocked, gets another try, he's blocked again, and then it's nickel wide. And Power did some good work there. Wilkins had a couple of shots, but both were blocked. McElroy went dancing in well. Then Reed couldn't touch it. But Power did well to block Wilkins once, then twice. And now Booth comes out as Nickel shoots wide. And the substitution will take uh, Mike Duxbury off and bring on Scott McGarvey for Manchester United. Young striker whose only previous appearance was a substitute against Leicester City in September. And that's for McKenzie. Nobody wide to his left. He'll take that space himself and he's going to run Wilkins. Checks. Then the supporting players coming. Parr, Hutchison, five minutes remaining as Hutchison takes it up for City. City leading 1-0. Hutchison crosses. Header away by Buchan and further on by Koppel. Buchan to Makari. Donald heads back. Wilkins. Bertels. Wilkins. Koppel. With two challenges. But then Booth robs Bertels. Hutchison. Bennett. Bennett on for par. Cross for McKenzie, and there was a well-timed run to by Tommy Booth. Gone out for a corner. Booth, who uh, doesn't often score, got one last week against Peterborough, and was in there looking for another one. Good cross played in there, and uh, Booth was in hunting, but just the ball knocked out for a corner before he could make any sort of decisive contact. This will be marked down as time-wasting. Anyway, the ball headed out by Moran. Back again to Hutchison. Hutchison's cross comes over again, Reeves, and he got too much of a deflection on it. Then back by McKenzie, power. A couple of bounces into the arms of Bailey. Bailey long to see if he can get McGarvey away. It's good thinking by Henry. Knocked it across to the far side where there was space. Power's header, chased on by Bennett. Nickel back. Bailey saves the go ball from going from a, for a corner. Garvey promising looking control from McGarvey but he lost it eventually to Reed. So now it's Mackenzie to Hutchison. Bennett, Hutchison couldn't take it. And Dave Sexton's last hopes of pulling something out of the season crumbling in front of his eyes here. Well it's not much added on. To the City fans, the jubilation. To Steve McKenzie, the goal. But after it, the inquest ends. Manchester City won. Manchester United nil.